Look what I got here today. I got the GTEC Miser S. This is a 3D printer that I got on Amazon and it goes for about $450 at the moment, but I think there's a coupon for about $80 off right now. So in the box, you have a USB cable, you have a power cord, you have the little scraper to scrape off prints off the bed. You got spare nozzles. It comes with an SD card, filament holder, the tools you're gonna need for this, some screws, a little bit of test filament, a switch, a belt tensioner, and the actual 3D printer itself. The Miser S is also capable of printing different materials such as PLA, PETG, ABS, TPU, and even silk materials. This 3D printer also has auto leveling and a magnetic bed, which makes it so much easier to get the prints off of the bed. The auto leveling feature is really one of the main and only reasons I got this printer. I just didn't want to deal with the hassle of having to level the bed every so often just because it seemed like a very annoying task. Another thing with this printer that I really liked was that there wasn't a lot of assembly necessary. And I spent maybe 15 minutes total setting it up. It was pretty easy, kind of like the other printer I have. Okay, and now onto the software. I'm gonna show you guys how exactly I added a printer and how I set up my printer for it to get the best profile possible. So you're gonna go to add a printer. You're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see custom here, custom FFF printer. You're gonna name the printer whatever you want. Of course, I named it the name of the printer. Next, you're gonna wanna change all these values, the X to 255, the Y to 255, and the Z to 260. Um, this printer actually has a heated bed, so of course I checked that mark. And then, and then now you're gonna wanna go to extruder, you're gonna wanna go to the compatible material diameter, and you're gonna wanna change that to 1.75 millimeters. Now you're going to want to go to GTEC's website. You can either enter the link you see there, or if anything, I'll have the link in the bio. So now you're going to go to download here up top and then click the Cura configuration file. That's the profile you're going to want to copy. You're going to want to download this file. Once you download it, you're going to want to import it here on the profile section of Cura. You can get there by opening up here the print settings and then clicking on profile. You manage the profile. And then right there, you can click import right here. Once you import the profile, you can go and change it and then look through the settings. I like to turn off supports for the most part, depending on what I'm making, I'll turn it back on and change some settings around. Okay, now it's time to make the one thing we all make as our first print, the Benchy. So of course, now I'm gonna go and download the file. Here you can download the file in Thingiverse or anything else, and then, you know, upload it here to Kira. Um, it's really basic. You just, again, I'm gonna print it at 0.2 millimeter layer height with no supports because you don't need it for this print. And also, well, just click slice. It's really easy. As you can see, it's gonna take an hour. Here on Kira, you're also able to see exactly how it's gonna print. You can see layer by layer, and it also allows you to see whether or not you're gonna need supports, whether there's floating pieces on it, you're gonna need supports. If there isn't, then you don't need supports, basically. So all you gotta do now is insert the micro SD card that you have the file on into the 3D printer. You're gonna go to printing and select the file, and that's pretty much it. Also, one more thing, just listen. As you heard, I don't know if the clip does any justice. It's actually really silent. The loudest part of this printer would probably be the fan. And another thing, as you can see here, the printer is printing really well. There aren't really any visible layer lines. Well, of course there are some, but not much. But everything seems to look pretty good. Here's the finished product. As you can see, there wasn't a lot of stringing and everything just came out nice and clean and smooth. The next thing I made was the little calibration cube just to, again, test out that the printer's working well. And once again, everything came out nice and smooth. It came out perfect. Once again, here's the final product. As you can see, everything just came out nice and smooth. There weren't really any layer shifts or anything that I can notice. So my only complaint really was the Cura profile, which I showed you guys how to do in the beginning, but 
it was annoying trying to find how to set up the profile. Everything else though is really basic. Everything, as long as you have some sort of 3D printing knowledge, this printer is really easy for you to get the hang of. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.